The fact that the Lamborghini Gallardo was never able to rival the MK1 Audi R8 for overall ease of use was no accident. Where the German V10 success he set out to provide supercar capabilities in an approachable package, its Italian cousin was allowed to be more focused, more spiky. When the Gallardo was launched in 2003 it practically established a whole new breed, blending Exotica with functionality more deeply than any other supercar before it, including the arch-rivaling Ferrari 360. Mind you, the influence of Lambos the new parent from Germany was clear. The Gallardo's somewhat restrained look had a Germanic bend to it, while the fonts on the switchgear and controls in the cabin were unashamedly borrowed from Audi AG. But contrary to popular belief, the 520 horsepower 5.0 V10 heart behind the passenger compartment was a genuine product of Lamborghini, with roots stretched back to its concepts of the 1980s. Admittedly, the 90-degree unit used an aluminium cylinder head and block built by Cosworth Technology, and the motor was assembled in Hungary alongside Audi's motors, but its DNA was not linked to the R8 5.2 even if that bigger engine would eventually supersede it. To some, then, early 5.0 Gallardas are the purest. A little rough around the edges by comparison to updated cars, but more Italian underneath. The latter trait was emphasized by the Gallardo's small frame, with a 2,560mm wheelbase famously close to the Ford Focus of the day, it's dwarfed by today's Focus that had the added bonus of making it easier to navigate city streets. It also meant the chassis of this mid-mounted supercar was nicely nimble, even if ultimate adjustability was robbed by the unflappable traction provided by an all-wheel drive system. The sound, responsiveness and hunger for revs of the Gallardo's V10 alone could win hearts, but there was genuine capability within its package, as well. Even back in the noughties, when cars like the MK1 R8 and Porsche Carrera GT were around, nobody underestimated the specialness of mating a manual gearbox to a V10 engine. In the Gallardo, it created a powertrain to race hairs and excite drivers, with the click-clack engagement of an aluminium-gated six-speed gearbox. Yet still the majority of Gallardas left Santa Gata Bologna fitted with an electro-hydraulic semi-automatic, as demand for paddle shifters headed towards today's peak. Which means that in 2019, with the mass production of manual V10 powertrains the subject of history, Gallardas with three pedals look anomalous and desirable, and pricier as a result. Today's Spotted is a clean example of just that, a 25,000-mile-old 2007 car that uses the aforementioned Lambo 5.0 and 6-speed manual, despite the mention of an e-gear box in the listing. It's up for just under 88,000 pounds, which seems cheap until you notice the autos that are on sale for as much as 30,000 pounds less than the manual R8s that can be had. From 33,000 pounds. But, the Gallardo is a Lamborghini, which means it comes with a status that the MK1 R8 is pretty incapable as it is, can't match. And the manual dials up that aura up by 10. Whether that is enough to justify the frankly massive premium will depend on the buyer, although one thing that can't be questioned is the loveliness of this particular car. With those looks and that spec wrapped around a V10 powertrain as cool as this, you might go so far as to say that £88,000 is a bit of a bargain. Specification, Lamborghini Gallardo engine, 4,961cc, V10 transmission, 6-speed manual, all-wheel drive power, HP, 520 at 8,000 rpm torque, LBFT, 376 at 4,500 rpm MPG, N, ACO2, N, A first registered, 2007 recorded mileage, 25,000 price new, 134,000 pounds, 2005, yours for, 87,995 pounds, see the ad here. Search for a Lamborghini Gallardo. Let's block ads.